All right, so this is camp. Just want to show you around. Um, this is the tent we're in. And yes, we put some LEDs. Um, no reason to be uncivilized. Um, we have a table, we eat. And um, pretty big table. Uh, this is our um, makeshift um, information center. So we have our cups, mugs, whatever. Uh, we have um, a net surrounding the tent, which stops mosquitoes from coming in. So we have those hooks all over the net, um, which works out really good. Tons of mosquitoes here. All right, so moving forward, this is a table that we use to keep water so we are all hydrated um, and we have a big cooler which is full of ice and uh, holds all of our perishables um, on this side we're gonna have our information um, area where we put bulletins and sign ups and what have you we have our garbage this is the coolest thing this is the leaders patrol box um, nicely made um, for poles and what it's in here is going to surprise everybody so here we have a whole bunch of stuff tools hammers bags more tools and, stuff. and here we keep um, a stove we keep um, all kinds of stuff nicely packed to do our own cooking if we need to but we don't need to at this time, so um, we just close it up. And we don't need to because food gets delivered to us. Um, here is our um, stove. We heat up water to wash our dishes um, every meal. Uh, we wash dishes with boiling water. And there are some tablets inside of here that we dissolved. So we have this little gadget here outside of the tent the soap water, the water that uh, has those tablets to purify the um, any bacteria or whatever. And then we have cold water. So this is, these two are hot waters and this one is cold water. And surprisingly that keeps us safe. So that is um, our tent. And this is where we hang most of the day. Uh, when the food comes in, gets delivered to the road down the street at that little hut right there we bring it in that's our entryway and it comes in here and then we do grace and then we serve our food and we finish eating so we get some burgers today and they give us a whole bunch of ketchup uh, there is an ice cream in here so what I want to do I don't want to go to waste so we're gonna take that last ice cream that nobody ate and put it inside of our, oops, crap, hang on. Just fell off, open. So that's gonna leave some mark. So nobody put that ice cream away and it just fell in there. Anyway, that's Cody. He's signing out because he's going to class. Right? Yeah. Which class are you going to? Trading post. <laughs> trading post? Yeah. That's not a class. No, so. How is trading post a class? It is not. I didn't think it was a class. Anyway, so here are the hooks and then we made some doors in here. And our camp area, it kind of extends. Where does it extend to? So that's the kids' tent. That's where they decided to put it this year. All the way out from the side of the adults for some reason. They hang the towers right there, towels. So all of this is our tent. There used to be a nice tree here, 
Got it down. We used to have a tire going all the way down and kids used to swing from it. Um, that's archival or the bathroom. Um, then we have a whole bunch of other picnic tables at different stages in life. Um, big trees. If you notice these trees are pretty tall. I think it was a nice shade at night. It's pretty cold in here. 60 something degrees and during the day it's at about uh, maybe 70, 80 or so. So that's the adult's tent. Um, and this year we got some extra passes so that we can park inside of the uh, our area. And we do have enough space. So here, for example, we have um, that area, which um, we use it to park nowadays. That's the entry door that we use as a driveway. And there's another driveway where my car is right now. We have a wood chipping area, and we use that for safety so that we can um, carve wood or and we're teaching the kids how to use sharp stuff. Here is our uh, wood uh, firing pit. And what we do here, um, at night, we would set up fires. And um, then, of course, we have to follow all these scouting procedures as to how to set up a fire. And we do always have a bucket of water um, nearby and we have a shovel and we have um, I don't know how that is called to remove all the ashes and make sure the fire is put up properly again the kids stand way at the end every Sunday we have mass and that's the chapel and since our camp site is on top of the hill um, that road that is behind there um, is used by many other scout troops. If you notice, there is another scout troop group. Those are the tents, they use in the traditional tents. That they are in a different campsite. Um, there is a road behind us, which we use as a shortcut to go back and forth between different um, uh, training classes that camp provides. So anyway, this is a tour of Camp 16, Troop 81, on July 18, 2022. And sadly, this may be our last stay on this camp site, mainly because our kids are pretty much uh, growing up. They're gonna reach the age of 18 and um, kids after 18 cannot be scouts anymore. I mean, they could work at camp since they have the experience, but um, they won't be able to um, be part of the um, scout troops anymore. Um, again, church. There is a fork that divides a couple of roads and um, that is our campsite. Thanks for watching.